Yeah, they do. very deep you question. You wouldn't guess it. As cold as it gets, could you imagine being homeless on top of that being a teen? November is National Runaway Prevention Month. Year round, Youth Emergency Services helps young people who are homeless or at risk get back on their feet. Mary Fraser Mites returns from Yes. Good morning. Nice to have Good you morning. back. Good to see you again. Yeah. Thank so you what's for your goal me. this month? Our goal is to raise awareness in our community. There are still people who don't know that there are homeless young people in Omaha. On any given night, there could be 300 young people living on the street, mm. hiding under bridges, or sleeping from place to place, couch surfing. That seems high. That is, I mean, well, we don't even know if that's the right, right number. Mm -hmm. It could be higher. You, you take it seriously throughout the year, but when it gets as cold as it is, um, are you a little more assertive in trying to find these kids? Yes, we have a team that goes out on the street mm -hmm. three to five days a week and they invite young people to come to our drop-in center at 26th and Harney and mm -hmm. they can get a hot meal and a shower. Why are these kids homeless? What, are, what stories do there, they tell? There are many reasons. Sometimes family problems, sometimes abuse and neglect, sometimes mental health and substance abuse issues by them or their family, domestic violence, sometimes when a young person um, they may be rejected because of sexual orientation, pregnancy, um, sex trafficking. There's lots of different reasons. Yeah, recently, we were just talking to you during commercial break. Um, not too long ago, you celebrated your 40th anniversary. Yeah. Uh, it's a great milestone uh, in Omaha here. What kind of difference do you think you've made in that time in those 40 years? We have served thousands of young people over the years, and we help them to become self-sufficient. We want them to get back into the community, back in school, have jobs, and to be successful community members, mm -hmm. citizens of our, our community. Your big party to celebrate that birthday <laughs> was a few weeks ago, uh, but you were doing some other things to get the word out about 40 years. What do you have planned? In November, we're going to have messages across the community, mm -hmm. and we're using the hashtag, not just a number, and then hashtag end homelessness mm -hmm. and we will be having messages we'd like churches companies individuals posted on your Facebook Twitter and join us look for messages on the sidewalks mm -hmm. as we um, raise awareness about this issue yeah we're taking a look at some of these pictures of some of the people that you've served and then uh, some of the services as well uh, but what kind of trends are you really seeing in Omaha right now we saw an 80 percent increase in the number of youth we served last year we went from 1,000 to 1,800. Is that because there are more kids or more kids know about you? I think it's because more kids know about us. We have a wonderful team who builds trust with the young people and they feel comfortable coming to our street outreach center. Mm -hmm. Then we can get them into housing and we can help them to move forward. When in visiting uh, youth emergency services in the past and talking to some of the teens there, they've said what they appreciate the most is being able to sit and have a quiet place to do homework. I mean, something mm -hmm. like that where you think, well, doesn't every child have that if they need it? Right. And the answer is no. But I mean, it's so simple what they are looking for. What can our viewers do to help? Well, they can volunteer. We are always looking for mentors. Mm -hmm. All the young people in our housing program have a mentor. They can donate time, talent, treasure. Mm -hmm. And if they want more information, they can check out our website. Uh, right there. Yeah, yeah, and one of the things I think is really unique, there's a way to experience youth homelessness. You have these, uh, basically these tours, so people can experience that. It's uh, can you explain that? It's a day in the life tour, and we take people to the street outreach center, and then out on the street, and they try to experience the um, things the youth experiences, and then we show them our shelter and the maternity home and we feed them a meal. Who, who would you recommend for these type of tours? Is it, is it for adults primarily or uh, other youths out there? Who do you recommend? We've had teenagers. Uh, younger than 10 is probably a little hard, yeah. but uh, we've had church groups, women's groups, mm -hmm. individuals, school, schools, students, um, adults, anybody who's interested. We won't have another one for a little while because mm -hmm. it's so cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We find it's hard to get people motivated to mm -hmm. do that. But it's if you're on the cusp of volunteering. If you say, yes. if I'm giving money or time, I really want to know what it's for. I want to be educated about the cause. That's what those tours are right. designed to do. Right. So the website is yesomaha.org. We wanted Mary to be here to just give us a an understanding of the organization. So while there's no real event where we say, get tickets, go to this, as often we do, uh, this is about knowing what YES does. The number, if you're interested in donating time or treasure, uh, <laughs> that's cash money, by the way, is 345-5187. <laughs> They're also active on 
Twitter and Facebook, and that's where you'll find those hashtags this month. Yeah, Mayor, thanks thank for your time you. this morning. Thank, thank you good very work. much. Yeah. See you. We appreciate Congratulations it. Congratulations on 40 years. Thank yeah. you. That's quite a milestone. Yeah, it is. Yes. Huge. All right. So.